Maya chapter 21. The word which came unto Jeremiah from the Lord. When King Zedekiah sent unto him Hashur the son of Malachi, Malachi and Zephaniah the son of Mazai the priest saying, Inquire, I pray thee, of the Lord for us. For Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, make it war against us. If so be that the Lord will deal with us, according to all his wondrous works, that he may go up from us. Then said Jer Jeremiah unto them, Thus shall he say to Zebekiah, Thus said the Lord God of Israel, Behold, I will turn back, the weapons of war that are in your hands, wherewith ye fight against the king of Babylon and against the Chaldeans, which besiege you without the walls, and I will assemble them into the midst of the city. And I myself will fight against you with an outstretched hand and with a strong arm, even in anger and in fury and in great wrath. And I will smite the inhabitants of the city, both man and beast. They shall die of a great pestilence. And afterward, said the Lord, I will, I will deliver Zedekiah, king of Judah, and his servants and the people, and such as are left in this city from the pestilence, from the sword, and from the famine, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and into the hand of their enemies, and into the hand of those that seek their life, and he shall smite them with the edge of the sword. He shall not spare them, neither have pity, nor have mercy. And unto this people, thou shall say, Thus said the Lord, Behold, I set before you the way of life and the way of death. He that abided in this city shall die by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. But he that goeth out and falleth to the Chaldeans that beseech you, he shall live, and his life shall be unto him for a prey. For I have set my face against this city for evil and not for good said the Lord, it shall be given un into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall burn it with fire. Message to the house of David. And touching the house of king of Judah, say, Hear ye the word of the Lord. O house of David, thus said the Lord, execute judgment in the morning, and deliver him that is spoiled out of the hand of the oppressor lest my fury go out like a fire and burn that none can quench it because of the evil of your doings. Behold, I am against thee, O inhabitant of the valley and rock of the plain, said the Lord, which say, Whom shall come down against us, or who shall enter into our, inha our habitation? But I will punish you according to the fruit of your doings, said the Lord, and I will kindle a fire in the forest thereof, and it shall devour all things round about it. Chapter 22. Thus said the Lord, go down to the house of the king of Judah and speak there this word, and say, hear the word of the Lord, O king of Judah, that sit upon the throne of David, Thou and thy servants and thy people that enter in by these gates. Thus said the Lord, Execute ye judgment and righteousness, and deliver the spoiled out of the hand of the oppressor, and do, and do no wrong, do no violence to the stranger, the fatherless, nor the widow, neither shed innocent blood in his, this place. For ye, for if ye do this thing indeed, then shall there enter in by the gates of this house kings sitting upon the throne of David, 
riding in chariots and on horses, he and his servants and his people. But ye will not hear these words. I swear by myself, said the Lord, that this house shall become a desolation. For thus said the Lord unto the king's house of Judah, Thou art Gilead unto me and the head of Lebanon, yet surely I will make thee a wilderness in cities which are not inhabited. And I will prepare destroyers against thee, every one with his weapon. And they shall cut down thy choice cedars, and cast them into the fire. And many nations shall pass by this city. And they shall say every man to his neighbor, Wherefore had the Lord done thus, done this into the great, this great city? When they shall answer, because they have forsaken the covenant of the Lord their God, and worshipped other gods, and served them, weep ye not for the dead, neither bemoan him, but weep sore for him, for him that goeth away, for he shall return no more, nor see his native country. Message to the sons of Joseph, for thus said the Lord, touching Shalom, the son of Joseph, king of Judah, which reigned instead of Joseph, his father, which went forth out of this place. He shall not return thither any more, but he shall die in the place whither they have led him captive, and shall see this land no more. Woe unto him that builded his house by the unrighteousness in his chambers by wrong, that used his neighbor's service without wages, and give it him not for his work. Thus said, I will build me a wide house and large chambers, and cut it him out windows, and it is sealed with cedar and painted with vermilion. Shalt thou reign, because thou closest thyself in cedar, did not thy father eat and drink and do judgment and justice, and then it was well with him? He judged the cause of the poor and needy, then it was well with him. Was not this to know me, said the Lord? But thy eyes and thy heart are not but for thy covetousness and for to shed innocent blood and for oppression and for violence to do it. Therefore said, therefore, thus said the Lord concerning Joachim, the son of Joseph, king of Judah, they shall not lament for him, saying, Ah, my brother, or ah, sister, they shall not lament for him, saying, Ah, Lord, or ah, his glory. He shall be buried with the burial of an ass, drawn and cast forth beyond the gates of Jerusalem. Go up to Lebanon and cry, and lift up thy voice in passion, and cry from the passages, for all thy lovers are destroyed. I spoke unto thee in thy prosperity, but thou said, I will not hear. This had been thy manner from thy youth, that thou obeyest not my voice. The wind shall eat up all thy pastors and thy lovers shall go into captivity. Surely then shalt thou be ashamed and confounded for all thy wickedness. O inhabitant of Lebanon, that makest thy nest in the cedars, how gracious shalt thou <coughs> be when pangs come upon thee, the pain of, as a woman in travail. As I live, said the Lord, though Conan, the son of Joachim, king of Judah, were the signet upon my right hand, yet would I pluck thee thence, and I will give thee into the hand of them 
that seek thy life and into the hand of them whose face thou fearest even into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon and into the hands of the Chaldeans and I will cast thee out thy and thy mother that bare thee into another country where ye were not born and where ye shall die but to the land where unto they desire to return thither shall they not return is this man Conan a despised broken idol is he a vessel wherein is no pleasure wherefore are they cast out he and his seed and are cast into a land which they know not O earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord, Write ye this man childless, a man that shall not prosper in his days, for no man of his seed shall prosper, sitting upon the throne of David and ruling any more in Judah. Chapter 23 The Righteous Branch Woe be unto the pastors, that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, said the Lord. Therefore thus said the Lord God of Israel against these, the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, said the Lord, and I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries whither I have driven them, and will bring them again to their folds. And they shall be fruitful and increase, and I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them. And they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, said the Lord. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will raise into David a righteous branch, and the king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely, and this is his name, whereby he shall be called the Lord of our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that they shall no more say, The Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. And, but the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, and from all countries, whether I had driven them. And they shall dwell in their own land, lying prophets, my, my heart within me is broken because of the prophet. All my bones shake. I am like a drunken man, and like a man whom wine had overcome because of the Lord, and because of the words of his holiness. For the land is full of adulterers, uh, for because of swearing the land mourning, the, pleased, the pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up, and their course is evil, and their force is not right. For both prophet and priest are profane. Yes, in my house have I found their wickedness, said the Lord. Wherefore their way shall be unto them as slippery ways in the darkness. They shall be driven on and fall therein, for I will bring evil upon them. Even the year of their visitation, said the Lord, and I have seen fully in the prophets of Samaria. They prophesied in Baal and caused my people Israel to err. I have seen also the prophets of Jerusalem in horrible thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers, that none do not return from his wickedness. They are all of them unto me as Sodom, and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. Therefore thus said the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets, Behold, I will feed them with wormwood, 
and make them drink the water of gall. For the prophets of Jerusalem is profaneness gone forth into the land, all the land. Thus said the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. They say still unto them that despise me, the Lord hath said, ye shall have peace. And they say unto everyone that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, No evil shall come upon you. For who hath stood in the counsel of the Lord, and had perceived and heard his word? Who had marked his word and heard it? Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord is gone forth in fury. Even a grievous whirlwind, it shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days ye shall consider it perfectly. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them. Yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. Am I a God at, at hand, said the Lord, and not a God afar off? Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, said the Lord? Do not do not I fill heaven and earth, said the Lord? I have heard what the prophets said, that prophesy lines in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yes, they are prophets of deceit, of their own heart, which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. The prophet that had a dream, let him tell a dream. And he, ha and he that had my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat, said the Lord? Is it not my word like as a fire, said the Lord? and like a hammer that breaketh the rock into pieces? Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, said the Lord, the, the Lord, that steal my words, every one from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophets, said the Lord, that use their tongues and say, he said, he said. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams, said the Lord and do tell them, and cause my people to err by their lies, and by their lightness, yet I sent them not, nor commanded them. Therefore they shall not profit this people at all, said the Lord. And when this people, or the prophet, or a priest, shall ask thee, saying, What is the burden of the Lord? Thou shalt then say unto them, What burden? I will even forsake you, said the Lord. As for the prophet and the priest and the people that shall say, The burden of the Lord I will even punish that man and his house. Thus shall ye say every one to his neighbor and every one to his brother. What had the Lord answered and what had the Lord spoken? And the burden of the Lord shall ye mention no more. For every man's word shall be his burden. For ye have perverted the words of the living God, of the Lord of hosts, our God. Thus, thus shalt thou say to the prophet, What had the Lord answered thee? And what had the Lord spoken? But since ye say the burden of the Lord, therefore thus said the Lord, because ye say this word, the burden of the Lord, and I have sent 
unto you, saying, Ye shall not say the burden of the Lord. Therefore, behold, I, even I, will utterly forget you, and I will forsake you. And the city that I gave you and your fathers, and cast you out of my presence. And I will bring an everlasting reproach upon you, and a perpetual shame, which shall not be forgotten. The good figs and the bad figs. The Lord showed me, and behold, two baskets of figs were set before the temple of the Lord, after the Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon had carried away captive Jeconia, the son of Jochim, king of Judah, and the princes of Judah, with the carpenters and smiths from Jerusalem, and had brought them to Babylon. One basket had very good figs, even like the figs that are first ripe, and the other basket had very naughty figs, which could not be eaten. They were so bad. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Thus said the Lord, the God of Israel, like these good figs, so I will acknowledge them that are carried away captive of Judah, whom I have sent out this place into the land of the Chaldeans for their good. For I will set my eyes upon them for good, and I will bring them again to this land, and I will build them, and not pull them down, and I will plant them, and not pluck them up. And I will give them a heart to know me, that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people and I will be their God, for they shall return unto me with their whole heart. And as of the evil figs, which can't, cannot be eaten, they are so evil, surely thus said the Lord. So will I give Zagkiah, the king of Judah, and his princes, and the residue of Jerusalem that remain in his land, and them um, that dwell in the land of Egypt. And I will deliver them to be removed into all kingdoms of the earth for their hurt, to be a reproach and a, pro pro a proverb, a taunt and a curse in all places, whither I shall drive them. And I will send the sword, the famine, and the pestilence among them, till they be consumed from off the land. That I gave unto them and to their fathers. Seventy years of captivity. The word that came to Jeremiah concerning all the people of Judah in the fourth year of jo Joachim, the son of Joshua, king of Judah, that was the first year of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. The which Jeremiah the prophet spoke unto all the people of Judah and to all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, From the thirteenth year of Josh, Joshua, the son of Ammon, king of Judah, even unto this day, that, th that is the three and twentieth year, the word of the Lord had come unto me. And I have spoken unto you, rising early and speaking, but ye have not hearkened. And the Lord had sent unto you all his servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them. But ye have not hearkened nor inclined your ear to hear. They said, Turn ye again now everyone from his evil way and from the evil of your doings, and dwell in the land that the Lord had given into you and to your fathers forever and ever. And go not after other gods to serve them and to worship them, and provoke me not to anger with the works of your hands, and I will do you no hurt. Yet ye have not hearkened unto me, said the Lord, that ye might provoke me to anger with the works of your hands to your own hurt. Therefore thus said the Lord of hosts, because ye have not heard my words, Behold, I will send and take all the families of the north, said the Lord, and Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and will bring them against this land, 
and against the inhabitants thereof, and against all these nations round about, and will utterly destroy them, and make them an astonishment, and in hissing and perpetual desolations. Moreover, I will take from them the voice of myrrh, and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, and the voice of the bride, the sound of the millstone, and the light of the candle. And this whole land shall be a desolation and an astonishment, and these nations shall serve the king of Babylon seventy years. And it shall come to pass when seventy years are accomplished that I will punish the king of Babylon and that nation, said the Lord, for their iniquity and the land of Chaldeans, and I will make it perpetual desolations. And I will bring upon that land all my innate words, which I have pronounced it against it, even all that is written in this book, which Jeremiah had prophesied against all the nations. For many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of them also, and I will recompense them according to their deeds and according to the works of their own hands. The cup of the Lord's wrath. For thus said the Lord God of Israel unto me, Take the wine cup of this fury at my hand and cause all the nations to whom I send thee to drink it. And they shall drink, drink, and be moved and be mad because of the sword that I will send among them. Then took I the cup at the Lord's hand and made all the nations to drink unto them whom the Lord has sent me. To wit Jerusalem and the cities of Judah and the kings thereof and the princes thereof to make them a desolation and astonishment and hissing and a curse as it is this day. Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and his servants, and his princes, and all his people, and all the mingled people, and all the kings of the land of us, and all the kings of the land of the Philistines, and Achlan, and Azza, and Ekron, and the remnant of Ashar, Edom, and Moab, and the children of Emom, and all the kings of Tyrus, and all the kings of Zidon, and the kings of the isles, which are beyond the sea, Dedan, and Dima, and Buzz, and all that are in the utmost corners, and all the kings of Arabia, and all the kings of the mingled people that dwell in the desert, and all the kings of Zabrai, and all the kings of Elam, and all the kings of the Meat Medes, and all the kings of the north, far and near, one with another, and all the kings of the world which are upon the face of the earth, and the king of Sapa shall drink after them. Therefore thou shalt say unto them, Thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Drink ye, and be drunken, and spew, and fall, and rise no more because of the sword, which I will send among you. And it shall be, if they can refuse to take the cup of thy hand to drink, then shall they say unto them, Thus said the Lord of hosts, Ye shall certainly drink, for lo, I begin to bring evil on the city which is called by my name. And should ye be utterly unpunished, ye shall not be unpunished, for I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth, said the Lord of hosts. Therefore prophesy, though against them, all these words, and say unto them, The Lord shall roar from on high, and utter his voice from his holy habitation. He shall mighty, mightily roar upon his habitation. He shall give a shout as they that dread the grapes against all the inhabitants of the earth. A noise shall come even to the ends of the earth, for the Lord had a controversy 
with the nations. He will plead with all flesh. He will give them that are wicked to the sword, said the Lord. Thus said the Lord of hosts, Behold, evil shall go forth from nation to nation, and a great whirlwind shall be raised up from the coasts of the earth. And the slain of the Lord shall be at the day, that day from one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. They shall not be lamented, neither gathered, nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground. How will ye shepherds and cry, and wallow yourselves in the ashes, ye principal of the flock, for the days of your slaughter and your dispersions, and are accomplished, and ye shall fall like a pleasant vessel. And the shepherd shall have no way to flee, nor the principal of the flock to escape. A voice of the cry of the shepherd and the howling of the principal of the flock shall be heard, for the Lord has spoiled their pasture, and the peachable habitations are cut down. Because of the fierce anger of the Lord, he had forsaken his convert as a lion, for their land is desolate because of the fierceness of the oppressor and because of his fierce anger.
school.